Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna paint up a salamander for my 30k army and show you how I get that really lovely green. So making sure that you've primed the model black and subassembly without the backpack and we're going to be getting jumping into paint but first just to show you some other stuff so this is my um, my salamander Prato that I've done in a conversion video I'm just going to stick up the little um, card there to check that out if you want to check it out and here's one of the other sergeant models that I've um, painted so this is the kind of green that you're going to be going for so Base coating all the model with Vulcan Green. It's a really quite a thin paint, so you're probably going to need to put in two or three layers to get a nice solid base coat. I think today this taken me about two, two and a half. Certain parts were a little bit patchy, so I had to go back over and get that sorted. If you are actually liking my content, please subscribe. The channel is almost hitting 2,000 subscribers and it's amazing. I can't do this without any of your support and I'm actually really loving what I'm doing and I'm also on other social medias. You can find me over on Instagram and um, threads. So yeah, subscribe, like and ring that bell. Thank you very much. So once you have got a nice base coat, you want to come in with a soft shade of Rhinox High. And you want to basically get this into the recesses and you can also glaze in the side panels and where you want to put in the shadows. And you will see that very shortly. So here I'm just going to be putting in a shadow on the front panel towards the knee. So you can see I've got the paint and I'm pulling it up to the top uppermost parts of the armour panel. Just making sure that you don't allow it to pull too much on the top. Um, and if you are getting a little bit too much paint on your brush, just wipe off a little bit of the excess before actually applying the glaze. And again, just a little bit more showing uh, the different sort of places that I put it. I try to keep it in all of the areas that would be hit with a little bit of a shadow. It just makes the arm look a little bit interesting. So once you've done that, you want to deep shade with a 50-50 mix of Rhinox Hide and a Baden Black. And what I mean by deep shade is you want to put this into the deepest recesses. You can also sort of strengthen those shadowed areas that you glazed previously with um, a nice little bit of a glaze of this mix also. into in and around the boot to really sort of strengthen those darkened areas. So once you've done that you come back and clean up everything with a glaze of Vulcan Green. And this sort of just smooths everything out because you can get quite a little bit messy with the previous mixes. This is kind of personal taste but what I've done is I've come back in with a 50-50 mix of Vulcan Green and Elysian Green and this is just to sort of push those highlights a little bit brighter in certain areas. You can add more Elysian green to make this a lot brighter. It's completely up to you. The more of the brighter green, the more vibrant it will look. In the Vulcan video, you'll see me doing a lot of this with a lot of glazes really pushing those highlights so I'll go into it in more depth on the Vulcan video. So your first edge highlight is a Vulcan green and Elysian green mix about 40% Vulcan 60% Elysian. You want it a little bit lighter than your previous glaze mix and you just want to go around and make a chunky 
edge highlight. So what I mean by that is you want your first highlight to be about the double the width that you're comfortable able to make because you want to be putting all other highlights that you do from this point inside this highlight. It takes a little bit of practice, so it's a good idea to get a couple of old space marines to practice your highlighting. Um, and if anyone wants to know, the brushes that I use are Series 33 Rose Marine Co. And there's a link in the description if you want to go and check them out. So once you've done that, you're going to come back in with your first real proper hedge highlight. And this is a pure Elysian Green. And you want to be keeping this in the previous highlight and go around all of the edges. This is what really gives it that vibrant green look and it really does pop at this stage. Just take your time and you'll get there. And if you make a mistake, you can just come back with the previous mix and just cut back into it or just go over to it and then just reapply this edge highlight. Really I'm enjoying this and I think that this, this colour really matches what you see in the Forge World Black Books as well as the new Libra Books and Rule Book and that real sort of olive natural looking green rather than the more cartoony uh, warp stone glow look that you often see in 40k Salamander Armies. Okay, so once you've done this, you're going to go in with an edge highlight of Ogryn Camel. And this is your final real highlight. So you want to keep this in the sharpest areas and the most prominent points. So for me, I've kept this on the, the highest highlights and not really worried too much about the highlights that are kind of at the bottom of the armor or not really going to be getting much of um, the light source. So on the edges and at the sharpest points like you see me doing here, and at the bottom of the armor panels. But mostly around the feet because this will really sort of emphasize all of those lines. And, that's, and this is why I love the Mark VI kit so much because the, the feet and all of the little edge highlights and stuff are so fun to paint. And yeah, like I really love the Mark VI kit. They're absolutely beautiful. Games Workshop really did an amazing job with this kit. And, Really looking forward to painting like the Librarian and the, um, the Company Champion, which are all in Mark VI armor. I'm going to be doing a separate video on um, battle damage because one of the things that I will be doing once I've got my decals is going back in, applying the decals and then going to do a little bit of weathering and battle damage and I'll do that in a separate video. Okay, so now time for the details. So you want to go around all the metallic areas and base coat this with Vallejo Dark Aluminium. This is probably by far one of the best metallic paints on the market right now. Absolutely amazing, really, really love it. It is an air paint, so just be a bit careful with it. And then for the studs, you want to base coat that with Retribution Armor from Games Workshop. And, um, and then once they're done, you'll want to wash the gold with Reikland um, Flesh Shade, and you'll want to wash the um, silver parts with Mule Oil. I forgot to actually film the shading of the gold oh, and highlighting it, sorry. So for the black you want to edge highlight everything with Incubi Darkness and it's exactly like the uh, the green, you want it to be quite a thick edge highlight because you're going to be putting the next two or three stages of highlights inside this one. And then once you, you've got that you want to be coming back in with your Dark Reaper and then 
going in again, making sure that this highlight is inside the Incubi Darkness. And just take your time and go all the way around all the black. So mainly for salamanders, it's going to be your power pack, your shoulder pads, and which any other areas that you're going to sort of like keep black. Then you want to be doing a very, very thin edge highlight of Thunderhawk Blue. And again, trying to keep it inside the previous highlight. And then you want to be doing a highlight of Fenrisian Grey to really sort of make that pop. And you're almost finished. At this stage, there is very little to do other than a one little bit of edge highlight on the black, and then just do all of the final details. So, final sharp edge highlight of Blue Horror, and then just do all of the final parts. You wanted this, the, this highlight to be on the sharpest edges around the corners and things like that. And then I did all of the last parts, the little head, give him a green beard, did the base, and that's him done, just needs his decals and bowel damage. Hope you like it. So that's the video everybody, hope you really really like it. Um, it's been really fun, I, I'm really enjoying this army, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's going to be another video on Vulcan and it's going to go into a little bit more detail. There's going to be a lot more glazing, a lot more blending to really sort of push that armour up to get a really nice sort of transition in it. Um, a little bit different from what the actual Marines are. Um, obviously this is a really nice follow on from the conversion video thank you very much to everybody who has enjoyed that um, and commented and everything else it has been amazing it's probably one of my most popular videos to date since coming back to YouTube it's great um, so yeah it's really good to have that painted as well and like shown in this video so I'm glad you like it um, so yeah there's going to be the Vulcan video I'm also going to be doing an apothecary uh, soon in apothecary white um, kind of cool for the for 30k armies and I'm also going to be starting a series very very soon two series on painting pretty much like the heavy metal team and trying to get as close to that as I can there's going to be a trailer coming for that very soon really 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 looking forward to this and um, yeah it's going to be awesome so lots of content the content probably may slow down a little bit as I'm doing these because they're going to take a lot of time to paint because I'm going to be pushing to a really high standard as well as I want the production value of the videos to be a lot better as well. So I hope you really enjoy it. So please, if you do, subscribe to the channel. Almost at 2,000 subscribers. So close. Can't believe it. And ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you do like this, drop a comment and like the video as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.